Hey, what is up, YouTube Nation? It is Hendog92 signing back on for another diecast review 2021 164 scale diecast review. This time is on Kyle Larson's number five Chevrolet Camaro Metro Tech Chevrolet that he ran. Uh, obviously for Hendrick Motorsports, but he ran this at the Coca-Cola 600. I don't think he ran it anywhere else. Could have been one other spot, but I don't know. This, I guess you could say, is the non-raced version, obviously, and the clean version, because, uh, he won this paint, he won with this paint scheme at the Coke 600 last year. So, I got the raced version from the coke 600 of this exact car uh hopefully it's up by sometime on the channel here that car will be up sometime uh, in may i'm gonna think maybe end of april i i don't know uh, but i also got the big scale version um so yeah pretty cool um, so before I go any more into this die, this excuse me, this diecast review, uh, don't forget to click on the link in the description below for Circle B Plan B sales. Um, you guys can pre-order some cars. You can buy some cars. One sixty-four scale, uh, the big scale. One twenty-four. You could get some green light stuff. They have the sprint cars. They have the indie cars. They have got all sorts of stuff. T-shirts, hats, whatever. Um, but use that code HENDOG92, capital H, capital D. And when you use the code at checkout, you'll get free shipping on all your orders over $20. And nowadays, I tell, if you guys have watched my videos before, I tell people, I tell you guys that it's not that hard to spend 20 bucks, even before the pandemic, honestly. And before this, all this inflation, you know. So, um, it, it's not really that hard to do. But, uh, yeah, so have fun with that. This paint scheme, I don't, I don't think it's, it's not my, f well, I'm going to see how the Coke 600 one looks in the big scale. That's going to be the tester because this one, like in the little scale, it's not the, the most favorite one that, excuse me, that I've got so far from Larson. All right, I got that mark off, so that's cool. Uh, it's not the most favorite one if that makes any sense but uh larson ran a lot of paint scheme this year and i already have quite a few uh and i'm gonna have to take out a few like the freightliner car i reviewed that earlier in the year or end of last year or whatever and that one's from bristol dirt race and it's it's okay it's they could do way better like the 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 five looks really weird. I'm looking at it right now. It just, it doesn't look right. I did graphic arts for a couple of years and it just doesn't look right in my opinion. But on the front here, we have Metro or first place finish. What does it say? First place finish. What? Car care system. Okay. And then on the front, it is, um, Lieutenant Dicus, Di 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 I think it is. Uh, you guys can pause the video and try and read that. I apologize if I'm butchering the name there. But, uh, yeah. And then you got the two Chevrolet bow ties. You have five, the Chevrolet bow tie. Hendrick Motorsports. You have the ZL1 XLE again here on the hood. And I just realized this on the previous car I reviewed, the Cincinnati one, paint scheme. I don't know if it's on all the other ones I have, because I have the quite quite a few uh, other fives from 2021 already in the case I'm looking at. But pretty cool feature they added, in my opinion. And this is a this is when they ran Man's Car Salutes. So obviously you have the banner there like that. I like that banner. I don't like this year's banner so far as much because it's like off to the one side it looks weird in my opinion but it is what it is hopefully like the nascar salute stuff if they do it again this year obviously hopefully it looks a little like it looks a little nicer than the normal one if that makes a sense 
Um, down the side here, you got Sunoco, Goodyear, NASCAR Cup Series, Tetron, and then you got Support Our Troops, the NASCAR Salutes decal, 5, Kyle Larson above the window net. You have the one winner sticker, which it's funny because the Cincinnati one, there's like five winner stickers. Um, HendrickCars.com, MetroTech down the side there, Valvoline, uh, nothing on the side there, in the bottom, that is. On the back here, or on the top here, we have five, MetroTech, Larson, MetroTech on the trunk there, MetroTech on the bumper, Camaro, ZL1, XLE, 1LE rather, whatever. Valvoline 5. And then this side is the same as the previous because it is not a raced version. Now, when I get the Coke 600 race version in in a couple weeks, hopefully, you guys will see that one and there will be a little bit of a difference because it's the race version, obviously. So, yeah. Hope you guys like this diecast view. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, turn a little bell on for every time I upload a video. In the future, you'll get notified. I said this in the last video and I started saying it. Then, if you guys want, well, I'm at 112 subscribers right now. So, when I get to like 130 subscribers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a winner. You guys can comment on this video, can comment on the last one I posted for Larson with the Cincinnati and all the ones going forward. But I'm going to pick a winner from those videos on, from the last video on, till I get to 130 subscribers, that is. Um, and when you, I'm going to put my link for my Venmo in the link in the description below, below the Circle B website. Um, if you guys Venmo me money towards a, the giveaway car, that is, it doesn't matter if it's three dollars a dollar five dollars twenty dollars ten dollars whatever this way i have some cushion to buy uh the giveaway car because i don't get paid here on youtube like a lot of other people do um i just do this for fun and i i this is what i collect i collect my da die cast and i i give props to my one really good friend on here she does a totally different um thing that she does for youtube she doesn't do die cast cars it's total opposite world pretty much that's why i'm laughing um so i give props to her um she was kind of the inspiration to go ahead and start doing these i don't do videos as often as her she does she does videos for her type of thing like three times a week or two times a week or whatever but um, I have inspiration from, like, Race Day 2011 is a big one, and then, like, I don't know, Race Day 2011 especially is, like, because he's from where I'm, like, from in the same state, that is, so, yeah, so, like I said, if you guys want to Venmo me some cash towards the giveaway car, and I will give away the car of your choosing, what I'm trying to say is here, it doesn't matter if it's a little car, or if it's a big scale car, and if it's within the past, if it's if it's something easy to find within the past five years, you could pick your favorite driver. Say you don't have a, you don't even have a car. Maybe I know a lot of people watch these diecast videos, and they don't even have a, a a car in their collection. They don't even have a collection. So I know how fortunate I am to have all these cars. I do, and um, I work hard to to obviously pay for them and whatever but i i try i want to try and give back and give back to the community nascar community here and and somebody could be watching this like i said and they don't even have a car and they've always wanted a car you know like they could maybe it's who maybe it's someone i don't even like like maybe it's joey logano or something like that or jimmy johnson or bowman yeah i don't like johnson yes i know it's the end of the world me being a diehard Gordon fan, that's why I don't like Johnson. Never did like Johnson. Never will like Johnson. I don't even think he should be in the IndyCar series. If you want a hot take, I think he should have retired and been a booth guy. But anyway, going on too much. So if you want to donate towards the Venmo thing, go ahead and do so. Click the link in the description below the Circle B diecast link 
and that will lead you towards my link for Venmo. So, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Have a good one. And uh, once once I get my next haul of cars in, I will start uploading them. And it's going to be like four or five cars, I believe. So, yeah, you're in for another good treat here pretty soon. Hopefully within the next two or three weeks. So, have a good one and peace, guys. Hen Dog 92 signing off.